With two of the best ski hills in the entire state, Harbor Springs is an ideal winter vacation spot. However, if you're a local, there can be some challenges to living in this beautiful area. Hi, I'm Gino D'Angelo, a local Northern Michigan real estate broker, specializing in helping you relocate to Harbor Springs and anywhere in Northern Michigan. And if you're watching this video because you are planning on making a move to Harbor Springs, these are a few of the things you're going to want to know before you move here. The first thing about moving to Harbor Springs that you're going to want to prepare for is just how cold it gets here in the winter. Now, over the last few years, it hasn't gotten as cold as it used to, but we do still see days when it gets as low as negative 10 degrees Fahrenheit, where when you go outside, it hurts just to breathe. A fun thing to do when it gets that cold is take a pot of boiling water and throwing it out into the air and watching it vaporize before it hits the ground. One benefit of Harbor Springs being located along Little Traverse Bay is due to the lake, Harbor Springs does not get the severe temperature drops that some of the other nearby states like Wisconsin or Minnesota get, where those states have temperatures as low as negative 30 or 40. We luckily don't have to deal with that in Harbor Springs. Also, the average temperature in January and February is 23 degrees in Harbor Springs. One thing that we've noticed in the last couple of years is winter is starting later and staying longer. Meaning when I was a kid, winter would start right around Halloween and get done at the end of February. Now we're seeing winter actually start after Christmas and last into March, making having a white Christmas a little bit more rare than it once was. Now Harbor Springs does see a heavier snowfall than the rest of Emma County, with Harbor Springs getting an average of 99 inches of snow each year, with the county average being just 29 inches of snow. Now, if you're not familiar with dealing with the snow, it is a formidable opponent, which I've talked about in other videos. We have two drive times in Northern Michigan. We have the summer drive time and the winter drive time. On a day where we have had heavy snowfall, you might take twice as long to get to a location as you would have if the roads were clean. Now, Emmett County is a very well-run county and they do a great job of keeping the roads clean, specifically in Harbor Springs, but factoring in snow to your morning commute is definitely something you're gonna to have to adapt to. Another issue to think about if you're moving to Harbor Springs is the seasonal economic downturn. Now, if you're moving here to start a business or to work at a small business, you're going to see businesses a lot slower in the winter months than it is in the summer, and it's just something we as business owners have to account for. In fact, some area businesses lay off their employees during the winter time because it's just not busy enough to warrant keeping them on and then they pick them back up in the summertime. Now the bright side of this is some of the restaurants that you can't get into in the summertime are much easier to get into in the wintertime, and many of them even have better, lower priced menu options. Also, if you like to have a cocktail, a lot of the nice restaurants do happy hours in the wintertime that they simply don't do in the summertime, which is a great benefit to the winter season. Now outside of the two ski hills, there are fewer outdoor recreation opportunities in the winter than there are in the summer. And I always say if you're going to move to Northern Michigan and you're not used to the cold weather or you don't particularly like the cool weather, you're going to want to find a winter hobby to make those months pass quicker. Again, I just want to stress that if you're moving to Harbor Springs and you're not familiar with the winter, there are a whole slew of things you're going to have to take into consideration from snow removal, salt, to making sure your house is maintained, that you have adequate insulation, and that you are ready to survive the harsh winters. Now again, they're not as hard as they once were, but they are still much harder than the summer season, which is much easier on your house and much easier on the way you live your life. So take into consideration that if you're moving here, which many people are from warmer climates, that if you've never dealt with the snow before, that you're going to want to come up with a plan to make it as easy on you and your family as possible. Another great aspect, in my opinion, about the winter is if you are looking for a house during the winter season, there is much less competition. And also it's easier to see the defects and what is wrong with a house when it's during the hardest time of year. You're gonna see, is the roof adequate because is it holding snow, is it not holding snow? Are there icicles? Is the driveway too slippery? I can't tell you how many times I've sold somebody a house when the driveway seemed okay in the summer, but when winter came, it was a completely different situation that they wish they had known about before they bought the house. Now again, I love Northern Michigan for the four seasons. I think the summer is great, and by the time it's done, we are ready for the fall and winter slowdown, and it's a great time to do things that you just don't have time to do in the summertime, such as travel or catch up with friends to get ready for another busy summer season. If after watching this, you are still ready to relocate to Harbor Springs, please reach out to me directly at 231-487-6141 and I'd be happy to help you.